All right, guys, I want to talk today about how we are treating and managing our injuries. Now, you know, these are musculoskeletal injuries in nature that I'm, I'm referring to, but, you know, <clears throat> the common mnemonic that we've all talked about, we've all grown up with, is RICE, or rest, ice, compression, elevation after an injury. Well, you know, it's, it's tried, but is it a true method? Well, you know, a lot of studies are actually showing that this really may not be the answer. And the key is really in this inflammatory or this recovery process. So, you know, when we're hurt, you know, let's say, for instance, you pull a hamstring, you know, you, you strained your hamstring or you've, you know, sprained an ankle. Your body always goes through these three phases, an inflammatory process, then the proliferation or repair phase, and finally the remodeling phase. This infl inflammatory process get, really gets a bad rap, and it may not be um, such a bad thing. You know, the body is is quite attuned. We've evolved for two and a half million years to to really manage and, and and heal as well as we can. So, you know, when you're when you're injured, the body sends circulating stem cells, uh, macrophages, all these type of of cleanup crew essentially that really go into the area, clean out the debris, and then produce waste that needs to be returned to the heart through the 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 venous and actually the lymphatic system. So right down here is the lymphatic system. It's actually a, a large passive um, tube system that actually parallels the venous system and returns returns molecules that are too large to fit into the veins back to the circulating system. So essentially it helps remove swelling which it contains proteins that are too large um, to fit in that venous system. Okay so <clears throat> at the end of the inflammatory process we've got this swelling or this tissue pain um, <clears throat> and so the, the goal here for you know for therapists and coaches and trainers is to try to manage this inflammation. But really, should we be managing it? Do we think that we're better at managing this inflammatory process than, than the body is at itself? Because here's why. At the end of the inflammatory process, it actually spurs insulin-like growth factor, which, which is a, um, an anabolic uh, hormonal type thing that really brings that spurs on the laying down of collagen fibers and then ultimately um, you know, tissue repair and regeneration. The remodeling phase then is when um, that haphazard collagen that's laid down in the proliferation phase is then uh, re rearranged and reorganized into an orderly fashion to to mimic you know let's say the ankle ligament that you that you blew out, okay. So <clears throat> the two things we really got to look at is you know listen we train with purpose we move with purpose why not treat with purpose? So we've got to have a goal for what we're doing. The ice component of rice, you know. Ice may not be that nice, and here's why. You're decreasing blood flow to the area, so you're having a vasoconstriction. Um, <clears throat> with that reduced blood flow, there's reduced insulin-like growth factor, which is reducing healing. We just talked about that. You know, if you look at how, how this fluid is going to get back out of the system, you know, in this, in this capillary bed here, if you are hurt and you have swelling, we've got to get that out of there. And the and this is a pat like I said, this is a passive system, so we've got to get that fluid out. If you're icing, you're essentially putting a stop, or you're just saying, nope, we're gonna stop right there, and you're gonna back up fluid. So increase fluid backup with icing may increase swelling and ultimately increase pain because that swelling is pressure on the proprioceptors or these these um, and, and free nerve endings and all this stuff in the joint that really senses pain, senses joint position. And so if you have increased pressure in there, that's what's a really a big cause of this pain. Now, ice may short-term decrease the pain because it's a numb, numbing effect. You know, it has a numbing effect. So if the goal is to numb the area and short-term decrease the pain, sure, ice is your man, okay? But if, if we really want to recover, right, if we want to you know, go through the inflammatory proliferation remodeling phase, we've got, to, we've got to up the ante and we've got to recover this stuff, not just decrease the pain. Now, NSAIDs are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. These things are probably even worse than ice. And the reason is they cut it off at the source. They cut off prostaglandins at the source. And what that's going to do is that's also going to decrease healing because it's going to blunt the inflammatory process. There's actually been studies that have shown that in, in Army cadets who, who have had an ankle sprain, they looked at joint laxity or the amount of give in the joint after a uh, ligamentous injury. And they found that people who slammed those NSAIDs, those ibuprofen like Skittles, they actually had an increase in chronic joint laxity because essentially we, we've nixed this repair phase um, from ever even occurring. We've just said inflammation is it. We're going to be done it. You know, we'll take over from here. 
And that's just really not correct. We've got to have proliferation and then remodeling in order to rearrange these ligaments into a strong fashion. You know, chronic NSAID use has been associated with poor fracture healing and, te- and poor tensile strength of tendons after an acute injury to that. Now, NSAIDs will decrease your pain, but here's, here's my point. As a physical therapist, I'm, I, pain is a beautiful guide to what's affected both at a tissue level and at a movement or a systems level. If we're blunting that, we have no way of knowing what the offending um, movement is and, and, and turn the tissue. So um, there, it's actually been shown to maybe prolong swelling as well. Because the only way, and let me stress this, the only way to get rid of swelling is through this venous lymphatic system. If we're, NSAIDs are not going to do it, ice isn't going to do it. The only way we're going to do it is through active muscle contraction, compression, and elevation. Okay? So, here, and I kind of just alluded to it, but here's the answer. We need to compress the area through um, compression garments. I'll link to some stuff that I like, you know, whether it's, it's voodoo bands or, or what, you know, that a type of compression garment or what, we've got to inc- that'll help to increase the lymphatic flow and decrease swelling. Elevation will do the same thing. And then movement. Movement is key, especially movement with compression. So increasing lymphatic and, and venous return movement will do, as well as it'll help increase, eventually increase tissue remodeling and improving strength of that offended tissue because it's now able to, your body has been like, oh, this muscle is supposed to move, or this, this ligament goes, undergoes a lot of strength a lot of stress, so we better build it up quick, and we better build it up um, stronger, okay? So, you know, the example I like to use here is if we're, if we're blunting this inflammatory process from, from completing, essentially what we've done is it's like going to the movie theater and saying, you know what, we're going to sit through the trailers, but I'm going to leave for the movie. No, <clears throat> we need to go through the, we got to sit through the crappy movie theater um, trailers so we can go see, you know, Cars 2 or Man of Steel or, or whatever, you know, Neil before Zod. So we've got to get through these three things. Otherwise, we're just screwing ourselves over here. So we've always got to train with a purpose, move with a purpose, and we've got to treat with a purpose, all right? I'll link to some of this stuff on my site, but guys, we really need to reconsider, and I know this is tough to fathom and tough to deal with, but we've got to reconsider how we're looking at our treatment of injuries um, as, as it pertains to ICE and NSAIDs. All right, we'll talk to you later.